Hi everyone, how are you? I know it's been a couple of challenging weeks and we're all getting a bit stir crazy and it's hard being cooped up and certainly hard being separated from our family and friends. Um, you know, it's a challenging time, it's scary and we all have to try and find ways to try and make life be a bit normal in this absolutely extraordinary time. Um, so like many charities, we've had a number of races, runs, climbs, hill walks, everything cancelled in this time. And you probably also know that for cancer prevention, staying active at least 30 minutes a day is really, really important. I think it's also important for our mental well-being at the moment. So what Breakthrough have decided to do is do something a bit innovative and we're doing a virtual race for the month of April. So the virtual race is called the race that nearly wasn't. And we're asking people to sign up to do two kilometers a day every day for 20 days and you download an app on your phone very simply and that will record your time and your distance and i suppose it's a way that we can all do something individually but at the same time collectively because the more people who sign up to do this particular race whether you're walking it or jogging it or running it the more people who are helping us push forward cancer research, even while we're trying to fight a virus at the same time. And we need to keep that going because our goal is to achieve 100% survival for all cancers. And that work has to continue even while we're trying to fight this virus. So I think it's an achievable goal. I'm certainly game. I hope you are. I hope you'll nominate some of your friends to do it. And let's work collectively while we're all doing something individually. The race that nearly wasn't, raising funds for cancer research that won't happen without amazing people like you. So join us. We'll have great fun. I look forward to seeing the pictures on social media of you getting out there and go to the race that nearly wasn't.ie for more info. Thank you.